My name is Bevan. I'm here with Sheldon, and he's one of our students took our business class. So can you give us some feedback on the class, anything you learned, and then any like, questions you have that you may not um, have the opportunity to ask us when you were at the class? Okay, sure. Like Bevan said, my name is Chelloy. Um, basically, I learned a lot, um, a lot of opportunities that mm -hmm. is available in the cannabis industry. Mm -hmm. And um, from what I've learned, I realize Grenadians have a lot to learn when it comes to cannabis, basically. Mm -hmm. Because the majority of people I've spoken to or uh, know that knows about cannabis, they basically think about it as something that you just smoke and relax. Probably they took it, they take it from a historical point where they eventually were as you suggest use marijuana after a long day work. But I've learned that you can use it for um, all different ailments like anxiety, uh, pain management, glaucoma, um, etc. And one of the questions I really had to ask was, how do you see Grenada progressing in terms of um, the legal framework? Do you think that we, we, we are really moving in the right direction when it comes to um, decriminalizing like they put at first and now they're talking about legalizing? So, yes, there... We have to legalize, as CARICOM law came out um, a few years back, stating that um, they recommend all the countries. It's just up to the countries now to legalize. Same thing like in the States, how the federal government say we are not going to legalize yet, but individual states have the rights to do it. So same thing here in Grenada. The, um, it's a huge benefit for us as a people because we have a rich land here. Like right now we're here in the Sulphur Springs, nice um, area, and we are here in the rainforest. So we have really good soil. It's volcanic. Some parts of the island, the soil is really rich in uh, iron. It's really red. And so for us, it's a matter of the individuals who need to stop thinking about the plant from just a smoking aspect. They got to look at it as more as a medicinal plant and then for a business development. Which, we, which includes in creating jobs. Because Greta has um, a lot of individuals just hanging out around and they're not, they have nothing to really do. And so why not create an ecosystem here where it really benefits locals and also tourism, um, but by creating a system, we have the jobs, jobs create, I'm sorry, the businesses, greens create jobs. And then for us, it's how do we use the plant in the right manner? So I said that smoking, right? You can on the hemp side, which is uh, low THC. So we have um, high amounts of CBD, um, CBN, which is really good for sleep. There's a cannabis with CBC, which is good for pain. Um, CBG, which is the first cannabinoid coming from the plant, it's really good for focusing and also some um, pain. But what we've seen is really good for um, gut issues and um, IBS, Crohn's. So from from me, the way I look at it as once we legalize and we create a system, we're going to have the smoking side. But here in Greenville, we have an issue with mental health, especially the young generation. So why can't we create the products that we can um, sell to the younger generation of those who are suffering with mental health and to be able to, to utilize the plant properly? And then we have SGU, which is um, the big school here. So um, one of our goals here with Chair Academy is the research. Um, not just cannabis, but other plants. Because when I first started, some of the the topicals that I used for my, my, my paint from the military had other ingredients like lemongrass. Right? And we know lemongrass grows really good here. So by combining um, all the medicinal plants we have here really with cannabis, now we can create um, good medicine. It's already being done here. Cannabis is just another tool for us to be able to use. And then once that creates here, we have a good ecosystem of med medicine here in Grenada that we can capitalize on. Um, I know that we don't have enough land for us to grow and export, but we can create um, things for here. When it comes now to the recreational side, there's between 10 to $100 million in EC that goes to St. Vincent on the legal trade market. So for sure. us, it's, we want to capitalize that and keep that money stuck here in Grenada so we can develop our school system 
the roads, the, um, a lot of the medical centers here in Grenada um, are falling apart. So like the walls, right? The um, creating new chairs, the new um, pads, all those things that we can use here, the money can go towards us. And for example, with the medical centers, they fall apart. That's job somebody who's outside of cannabis can we can use to, to um, build up the concrete, right? Correct. correct. Um, same thing with the roads, that money can go back into. So it's not just benefiting the people in cannabis per se, but everybody else because we need more than just um, the roads. But we were talking about it um, in class uh, two days ago. Um, the ancillary services, right? Um, so the tourism, we have here tourism. So why not different farms? Like I was telling the rest community, y'all guys are growing, you can have tourists come, um, have them booked, yeah. and then they say, hey, let's go visit the farms. They can see the plant, right? They can try the product. They can get ITIL food. Because if you're going to be growing cannabis, you need to be growing um, um, provision, right? Vegetables and fruits. And then the calabash bowls. These, these are bowls you can use for um, ashtrays or rolling trays. The souvenirs, the, the steam chalices, which we use from the coconut. Nice. The steam chalices is one of the best ways to consume the plant without having to actually burn it. Natural. It's, 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 it's natural, it's steaming it, right? And we talk, like, if you guys follow us on Care Academy on Instagram, we post a lot about the boiling point of the different terpenes and different cannabinoids. So the, the steam chalices it heats up, and once you get to the boiling point, the vapor is what they inhale. It's not a direct smoke, so there's no carcinogens that goes into the body. And so these are things that we can educate um, tourists and the locals on, and they can say, hey, these are the medicine, because some people want to smoke for the medicine, right? Which is, I have no problem with that. Um, but we want to create an ecosystem for, for the community here. And so on June 3rd, Monday, 8 p.m. on GIS, another government channel, we're going to be having a consultation. But according to the government, we're going to we look at the dates. July 1st is supposed to be criminalized 15 grams, which is half ounce. And then within the next six months, they're going to legalize. And for them, they want to focus on medicinal um, first before they go recreational. And so for us, it just opens the door. The goal is to, for me, I look at it as I'm not thinking about what everybody else is doing, right? We know there's the big companies that are already jockeying for it. They got land. They're going to take advantage. But for us individuals, we have to create our own ecosystem come together as a community and say, hey, if everybody has a couple acres of land and we are growing for a collective, then everybody's gonna, is gonna win. The money that they, they, um, they get from growing feeds their family, right? Correct. Really cool. Correct. For me, growing up here, um, I don't know about you, but community fed us. Um, mm -hmm. Going to medicine school, not like the moms and them, but the moms give us, I remember in my head, um, pea soup and dumplings. So we had a lot growing up. Yeah. And that, for me, um, remind me of why it's important to have a collective of people. Um, so yes, um, I think it's a lot of opportunities. If we look for opportunities and we say we're going to win this for the long term and not just focus on the smoking. Okay. So a lot of people have been saying that Grenada basically missed the boat when it comes to cannabis legalization and creating opportunities. There's definitely more unique opportunities that we can create here, basically, is yeah. what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, we didn't miss the boat. I mean, we just lose the money because of the years. Yeah. But once it's legal and people see that Green has um, some of the best weed. And so for me, Green uh, had one of the huge slavery, right? If you look at hurricanes, if you have a look on the, the globe, um, the, the horn of Africa comes straight across, comes straight to Grenada and Barbados. And so um, all that, so the, the, the dirt, and um, the soil that comes from the Sahara comes over here, and that helps a lot with our environment. And so, Grenada was one of the first countries to grow cannabis um, in the slavery times, right? And most of it that was done by slaves. Um, St. Vincent and them came down to Grenada. A lot of them learned, including Peter Toshinam from um, Bar Marlin Whalers, and they took that to Jamaica. Yeah. Took it St. Vincent. So now those countries have a really good market of growing, and Grenada isn't, doesn't have it as well because you know we are the smaller too. Right. So why not come back here and bring it here and reestablish a good community here? 
Um, so I'm really excited for me. I'm really excited for what's about to happen here. Okay. Yes. okay. So I have a question for you. So I know you said you wanted to get into this, right? Hypothetically. Um, and we were discussing about one of the Airbnb features. Correct. Uh, is there any specific questions that you, that you may have that we can talk in camera? <laughs> no? no. All right. So I'll give you some ideas. <laughs> so when it comes to Airbnb, um, it's all about the customer, right? So for me, this is how I look at it when I do um, panels and ask a question. So what are you here for, right? So you had Airbnb. Are you looking for as a retreat? Are you looking for you coming here to the hill? Because we empower that. If you come here to heal, so what kind of food are you into? So let's say you're doing breakfast. If you do anything with um, lemons, you can always pair like a, like a lemon pound cake or any kind of lemon dessert with a lemon turpin, the lemon in. And okay. those you can give in the morning as a lunch. It helps you with anxiety, yes. depression, to so keep you awake. Okay. And yeah. so it's all about the food, how you integrate cameras with the food, and not just the cameras, the turpins as well. So if somebody say, hey, um, give me time. I want something I can eat that can help me relax. So you can look at into adding mercin or even lanolin, lavender, to some of the ingredients. And by infusing those with the food, you're able to help that person relax. Um, you can look into infusing um, different cameras and terpenes into solves. So if somebody coming in, you, let's say you offer um, people coming here uh, to the springs as part of your retreat at Airbnb. Yes. You can, after they're done, you can say, okay, let's get back. We can have a spa treatment. You can um, create even um, coconut and sugar um, rubs for the skin. Right? Oh. You can infuse those as well, rub it on the face. And then when they're done, then you can have another moisture cream with um, coconut um, and other ingredients that we can find, shea butter. You can mix all those, provide a person with the experience. Because once you have the um, Defiliating, it tends to give a little bit of redness in the skin. Okay. So by adding um, the ingredients, natural. yeah, natural ingredients, right. you're able to help them um, heal the, the, um, the skin as well. So you have to look and see what did you want to offer and how you complement. And so when I was in California, we had the dinners, yes. so the infused dinners, and sometimes we did one to one. So like say five milligram CAT, five milligram CBD, or even uh, high amount of CBD. So they can get a little buzz from the TAC. But we know that having the CBD in there, the higher amounts, mm -hmm. can help them as well. And for people, it's all about the experience. So you know, you have that in the food. And then in the weddings, there's another way to go. So you can take the, um, the bouquets and have the canvas bouquets. You can have pre rolls for guests. So there's always a way you can infuse the plants into what you're doing because people want to experience, right? And a lot of people want to smoke. So you say, okay, well, it's all decoration, you get to smoke and say, oh, we need a destination to go for weddings. Yeah. Um, here we have, I also see over there, the, um, I can't remember the name of the plant. We have different colors, right? These are, are red, we got the pink ones over there, we have a white one, and wow. in the weddings, they have the flowers in there. So you can have the bouquet of the cannabis inside um, the bouquets, and just have experience. So it's, it's about figuring out what is it you want to offer, and then looking and saying, hey, how can I implement cannabis um, into what I'm already offering. And that's the way I will, I will go, instead of trying to focus on the cannabis, focus on what you have, right. and then see how cannabis can fit into everything okay. else you're offering. Okay, I think it's very interesting that you have a vast knowledge on the whole business process of cannabis, because just like you mentioned with the wellness, I have to admit that I've tried um, coconut oil, mm -hmm and infusing it with cannabis. And I gave my mom to rub on her shoulder one time for pain and it worked, yeah. it worked, mm -hmm. it worked. So I think the more we are educated here in Grenada on, you know, the uses of the cannabis and, you know, how we can use it to generate funds to make everyone feel as if, you know, we're doing something good and not opposed to just have a plant that they demonize yeah. that it's just only for smoking and stuff. Mm -hmm. It would be very good for yeah. them. A lot of people are doing it under the table, right? So it's just a matter of teaching them on the business side of the brand and uh, um, making sure that they have a little business for themselves so that they can prosper and give yeah. back to the next generation. For me, when I went into learning, I want to learn as much as I can. And I'm always looking at opportunities to see how I can help others. Because 
I have a school, so I need to learn these things so I can right. pass on the knowledge. Right. And for me, I like experimenting, right? I use canvas for, my, for myself, for my paint. So why not see how far I can go and leverage that? And I've seen what so many other people are doing in the state. So why can't we duplicate that here? Like you said, your mom infused that with coconut. If you want it, then our bodies are made for um, cannabinoids. Yes. You know, like uh, we have an endocannabinoid system. So when you, you know when you have to go jogging, you get this, this high from running, you feel yeah. really good, yeah. right? Our body's already made that. We, our body's producing the yeah, natural no cannabinoids already. Yeah. Uh, there's two AG, um, anandamide, which is the bliss molecule. Yeah. So you have your, um, you run and you feel like really happy, you feel like in bliss. Um, our body naturally produces that. And when we smoke, our body affects it. So we get really happy. So we, we, people don't want to smoke, they get really happy. Yes. Right? So it's the same thing. And so yeah. I'll suggest how do we turn this into a, um, a business that we already are, some people are already doing and saying, hey, um, make a living off this, right? And you don't have to go outside a lead Grenada to go in another country and get in debt to survive when you can do that here. Right. And that's the most important thing for us. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, yeah. Nah, I mean, I, I took the business crash course and it was very informative. I sort of saved all those notes. Okay. And, you know, I, I don't have any further questions. Right. So, <laughs> the last thing is, we are launching a six month class. And for me, with my background in digital marketing, I'm going to teach you guys from the beginning um, where to go here and you're going to get your license. You want to do, excuse me. Now, if you want to get your license as a sole proprietor, it's twenty five dollars for that. You get your name, and then you go to Inline Revenue and get your, your, your tax documents and everything. And then once you have that, it's a matter, it's a matter of figuring out what brand, what colors, your logo. We need a website to, to sell. If you're not selling your website, at least have a website to have online presence. So when somebody goes there, they can say, okay, this is. A company, I know who it is. You have your name, information on there, and we'll teach you everything from beginning six months. And when you're done in six months, you have everything you need to do business plans, how to approach when it comes to funding on a higher um, level. And we'll be launching that in um, next month. So appreciate Perfect. you guys turning in. Thank you, Sheldon, thank for you for joining us and um, coming to support. All right.